The following contest is a Hell in a Cell match. Making his way to the ring from Washington, D.C., weighing in at 160 pounds, Leo Rush. Coming up next, guys, it's the Hell in a Cell match we've all been looking forward to. And I feel that I should mention that if you have a weak stomach, this might not be the match for you. The Bruiserweight! And his opponent, from Birmingham, England, weighing in at 205 pounds, Pete Dunn! Burst on the scene with the likes of Tyler Bate, who was the first ever United Kingdom champion, and Trent Seven to form British strong style, but he's now moved up on his own and become one of the great young up and coming superstars in WWE today. Very rarely will you find a superstar who derives as much pleasure from hurting their opponent as Pete Dunne does. They talk about having it, Corey. This kid has it. Intangibles. The skill set, the entitlement. Pete Dunne believes everything belongs to him, and he'll take it forcibly if he has to. And we're underway. Looking at these two men, I don't think there's going to be anything traditional about this one-on-one -on -one matchup. Guys, I think it needs to be said that yes, while we all are enjoying watching this match, you cannot deny the real dangers these superstars are presented with here tonight. I have to agree with what Byron was saying about the dangers of Hell in a Cell. The truth is that superstars change forever after competing in this demonic structure. For once, I agree with both of you. The fact of the matter is that tonight will likely be the most demanding night of these superstars' careers. Bad spot for him to be in here, guys. He's got to do something to get back in this thing. Impact. You gotta believe this one's over. Stump pulling a oh. leg snap. Oh, that's gonna hurt. Tear your hamstring. Guys, we all know the storied history of Hell in a Cell, but we'd be remiss if we didn't at least mention that the first time anybody laid eyes on this demonic structure was back in October 1997 at the Bad Blood pay-per-view.
reflected again on the first time we saw the Hell in a Cell structure. I don't think anybody at the time could have envisioned the truly merciless moments this structure would provide over the years. And amazingly, Michael, those moments somehow become more and more barbaric with each passing match. Boom! Ooh, ooh, ooh. ooh what impact. You know, no matter how many times I see a Hell in a Cell match, I'm always amazed at what these competitors are willing to put themselves through. Hard to dispute Byron's point about what these superstars put themselves through in an environment like this. For whatever reason, when the Hell in a Cell structure is in place, superstars willingly push the boundaries of physical punishment. And then there's people like Shane McMahon who just take that to a whole other level. Oh, he's such a tough target. Ah, oh, spinning heel kick! And he connects. There's no reason to lose your footing on a move like that. Come on, toughen up. He's left wide open here. I don't think he even realizes it. He looks dazed. This is about to get bad. Ooh. He's making a statement here with this attack. For a superstar, their debut is supposed to be triumphant celebration of years. He's got him covered. Turns around. Oh, moonsault. Incredible agility. As Michael mentioned, Leo Rush's NXT debut was ruined when he was ambushed from behind by the Velveteen Dream, who left Rush lying following a purple Rainmaker. Yeah, right before that attack, Rush was going to go on about how he was the man of the hour, and that was one hour that was taken from him. And to be fair, he wants it back tonight. Boom, what impact. Oh, nasty impact. Right to the back of the neck. Oh, oh boy, he is rolling. The man of the hour has arrived at just 24 years old. The piece of gold known as Leo Rush quickly ascended through the Indies and is now is making waves in WWE. If you're just tuning in, you're watching what is guaranteed to be a Hell in a Cell match for the ages. Michael, you mentioned Leo Rush's quick arrival here in WWE. Well, just as quickly as he hit the main roster, he's been providing highlight reel moments with his innovative evasion techniques. Well, not only that, he's proven to be a great mouthpiece for his man, Bobby Lashley. Rush definitely has the gift of gab, even if he's got the voice of a sentient meatball. I don't know about you guys, but for me, there is no greater thrill than being at the announce desk for a Hell in a Cell match. Dunn is in position. This might be it. Oh, my. But he's running on going to the cover. What is keeping this competitor going? There is no quit in this man tonight. Dunn is in position. I really can't believe what's gone down so far. This match has been even more physical than I thought it would be. Beautiful technique. 
Oh, Rush just barely got out of the way. Oh, boy, he is rolling. Comes up big with a reversal. Not today. Whoa, down he goes. That was impressive, Cole. When this guy's on, look out. With the damage sustained by Dunn, he could be on his way out. He might just have nothing left to give, guys. The Bruiserweight is going to have a tough time punching his way back into this. This is what makes him one of the best in the business. He knows he's in trouble. Lands this, and he is done. He's playing with him now. These athletes seem to have tried everything in their playbook. Oh, there's more in their arsenal, I promise you that. I don't know what it is, but they'll find it. Harsh impact. You've got to believe this one's over. Nail it. Ooh. Ooh, what impact. I don't know how much more damage one person could take. I don't care how tough you are. Takes him down hard. You gotta love that kind of aggression. Boom, what impact! Drop kick! Beautiful! Dunn is in position! The impact. Just when you thought, here's the cover. You can't teach the type of tenacity we're witnessing here. Unreal. Remarkable. Oh boy, he is rolling. Taking on any more damage here could very well mean the beginning of the end. And there's his speed paying off. Boom! Bonnie <laughs> dodges out of the way. Dawn is in. Vicious strike. That has got to be it. Resilient was that. How'd he do that? You gotta believe this one's over. Oh boy, he is rolling. Given their performances tonight, it's too bad one of these superstars has to walk out of here on the losing end. Both of these superstars looking a little worse for wear right now. But he's got to capitalize now. There's a pin now. One, two. 
And he got a near fall out of it. Yeah, it's going to take more than that to keep him down. Oh, boy, he is rolling. Oh, he's able to reverse it. That might just be the final nail in the coffin. He's not going to like this. Too quick for him there. Oh, nasty impact. What a stomp. Good grief. This might be it. Oh, my. Oh my god, what a forearm! He's in trouble. A minor miracle might be needed to overcome this beating. I can't believe everything that's transpired thus far. It's been so physical. Oh boy, he is rolling. Beautiful technique. Ooh, what impact. This might just be one of the most intense Hell in a Cell matches I've seen in quite some time, guys. Things are not looking very good right now. Going to have to find a way to regroup. Looks to me like these superstars are running on fumes right about now. Looks like both these superstars have found that little extra something to keep themselves going here tonight. Ugh, no luck against Dunn there. Too quick. Showing off some of his speed there. Oh, solid contact from Leo Rush. Nailed it. He's lining him up. He's almost got him. Ooh. He's calling for it. Stationary position, turns around. Look, what an incredible move, Salt. Oh, Rush just barely got out of the way. Oh, he turns it around. He's not in a good spot here, guys. He simply needs to find a way to regroup. He can't take much more. Well, targeting the stomach. He's looking a little wobbly here, guys. Michael, his legs look like they're about to give out on him. Uh-oh, he's in trouble here. He's looking shaky. This could be the end.
While the medical staff might say otherwise, this superstar's injury isn't even worth mentioning. At least that's what this superstar told me prior to the match. What a counter here. Oh, Rush just barely got out of the way. Right across the back of the neck. Oh, nasty impact. Looking to flip the tables here. Had a plan. Can he finish the job? Oh boy, he is rolling. He's going for it all. Look out! There may be no coming back from this incredible beatdown. Fast reflexes. Oh, no luck against Dunn there. Too quick. Harsh impact. Boy, this has just been pandemonium. Oh, the old European uppercut. Ooh, what impact. The intensity of this match has been incredible. At what point do those thoughts creep in of what do I have to do to put this match to rest? I don't know. I don't know as a WWE superstar if you ever have those thoughts of self-doubt. Oh, no, my God. No, my God. Stop this. Don't do it from up there. This is too much. Power bomb. Some might say that it wasn't a wise move for this superstar to step inside the ring with an injury, but I don't know. It's not like it's a major injury or anything. At some point, the referee may want to think about stopping this one before somebody gets seriously injured. Oh, what a right! Man, that's an two behind it. Oh boy, he is rolling. Oh. This one's getting ugly. You might want to turn away if you have a weak heart. If I hear one more person tell me about how brave this superstar is for competing injured, I'm going to lose my mind. I mean, what we're talking about here is essentially the equivalent of a hangnail. I wouldn't necessarily call that an injury. This has been a war. Melee, pandemonium. Oh, what impact! The th oh, look at what's coming! Again, that's two, and perhaps a trifecta. 
That's how you put an exclamation point on the end of a match, guys. Dunn is in position. Power bomb. If that doesn't end it, I don't know what will. He's going for the pin. This could be it. Three. He wins. I can't believe it. He survived this journey through hell.